Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, where everything you're about to hear and see has been done in one take. I'm your host, The One Take Man. I'm once again filming on my uh, laptop, only this time instead of filming the uh, desktop, I'm using the onboard camera, because I want to, because I want you to see me. And yeah, I know this is a casual attire, just, uh, just roll with it. Also, this video is unscripted, so it's more or less entirely casual, in spite of the uh, in spite of the more uh, serious title. And in case you're wondering why the uh, background is different, well, that's because I... <coughs> I couldn't move the laptop camera to where I... Uh, uh, you know, to where I uh, generally film. But anyway, you... that's enough of that. You don't really... I don't think you're really interested in any of the production backgrounds. You want to know uh, what is the justification for uh, you you want to know what the uh, what the title is about? Well, um, I originally wanted to go with a different title and a somewhat more uh, complicated video. Namely, it would be something like uh, "30 Lessons I've Learned by the Time I Turned uh, 30" or something like that. But as I was putting the list together, I realized that a lot of the things I would have uh, talked about were either uh, completely useless, such as uh, how many neck vertebrae does a giraffe have? Okay, it's not completely useless, but it's not generally applicable. Or it is stuff that you could find in uh, uh, other places on the uh, on the internet as well. So instead, I instead I thought I thought I'd do something uh, a little bit different. I thought I would look into. Um, I thought I would look into. Uh, uh, something that is that is indeed genuinely a, a uh, part of my experience and something that uh, and what are the lessons that are indeed uh, unique to uh, unique to me and unique to my uh, uh, experiences what what is it that I have found out that uh, would benefit others I'm not gonna say no one else has ever found uh, found that out but what is it that I what is that I have some uh, unique level of insight into. And when I started thinking about that, I uh, came up with uh, three things. Three things that I will present somewhat, uh, somewhat informally because, as I mentioned before, I don't have a script. The first thing, first lesson I would like to uh, mention is you're not finished. I, I've currently, at the time of this video's release, I will have reached a uh, milestone in terms of my, um, in terms of my life, and in fact, uh, many of you will have reached uh, your own milestones, in your career, in your relationships, in your education, or you know just in life in general. However, reaching any uh, particular mileship, uh, mile, mileship milestone, doesn't mean that your uh, that, that your development or that your uh, life has been uh, completed. There are still there are still a few things that you could there there are still a few things that could uh, uh, surprise you. Some a uh, few more things that could uh, change your uh, understanding uh, understanding of yourself, or that could change your uh, your idea of. Uh, who you are or how the world uh, uh, how the world works you don't necessarily have to always uh, seek those out in an, uh, in an effort to become finished to become uh, complete but you do have to be uh, ready you have to keep in mind that you could at any point uh, need to uh, you know need to alter some uh, some aspect of yourself how exactly that looks, uh, or what exactly that will look like, I, uh, or what exactly will cause it, I can't know. But you have to be able to, uh, uh, to roll with, with uh, what is brought to you. That also means that you should be willing, uh, or capable, of accepting that certain parts of you will have to, uh, uh, will have to, will have to die. You have to be willing to. Uh, kill certain parts of yourself if you are to uh, grow a little bit further. And as I said, you're not finished. 
you'll always be uh, you'll always be capable and you might always have to grow a little bit further that is why you should always uh, be ready to uh, and be ready to kill some part of yourself and be ready to uh, grieve for that part of yourself be always ready to uh, uh, to improve be always ready to uh, and grasp some, you know, some new opportunity or some new horizon. Uh, conversely, number two, don't discount yourself. Just because the experiences you have gathered will will at some point encounter an, uh, uh, a situation where they will prove themselves me where they will prove themselves meaningless, doesn't mean that every situation that doesn't mean that um, there are other situations where those uh, experiences or that uh, or that piece of knowledge who the fuck is honking? oh another wedding oh well as I was saying just because your just because your experiences are uh, are not applicable in a uh, certain situation doesn't mean that they aren't applicable in uh, any other situation you still have your own you still have uh, come across certain hardships and have been able to uh, overcome them. You still have acquired certain uh, pieces of knowledge and were capable of using them. Everything you, everything you've been able to do so far matters, and uh, and therefore everything you've, everything you will do uh, from now, from now on, matters as well. You have to. Uh, keep that. You have to keep that uh, in into account. You have to think about what makes uh, know about what makes you and what makes your uh, experiences and your uh, in and your adventures uh, uh, worthwhile. You have to know that your you, know, you have to know that your uh, your, your life and your uh, endeavors. Do have do have intrinsic worth, and you have to and you have to keep that uh, you have to keep that in mind because it is uh, it is ultimately true, and it is what will uh, and it is what will uh, uh, carry you through. You will you might have to change it somewhat as per uh, as per the first lesson, but that but again, they are still they are still valuable, if e even if only even if only for you. You can, you know, you can still do, you can still do so much, especially after you've uh, learned whatever lesson you, uh, you have to learn. And finally, the uh, third thing I will mention is Sonder. Uh, for those of you who don't follow the, uh, the Dictionary of Obscure Definitions, Sonder is the uh, realization that every person you meet has an inner life that is as rich and vivid as your own. You can say that you disagree with the uh, uh, with the dictionary of obscure sorrows for uh, whatever reason. However, the uh, the idea, the concept that this particular definition presents, is not something that I think should be uh, thrown away or ignored. What does it What does it actually say? What does it mean when it's talking about a rich and vivid inner life? Well, it says that uh, whatever depth and uh, complexity of uh, emotion, of thought, of uh, conceptualization, and of experience that uh, you have, uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people have as well. And a lot of people are similarly guided by the same, uh, you know, by the same level of uh, experiences and insight as you, or m maybe more, maybe less, but they're not <laughs> they're not as uh, as some people would call them when the say today NPCs. Everyone has motivations they hold uh, strongly to for uh, a wide variety of reasons, and therefore you need to look into. And of course, you really want to understand someone. You need to look into their uh, reasons. You need to look into their own, uh, you know, rich and vivid inner life in order to. Uh, be able to uh, understand people, and in order to build uh, bridges between them, for for a for a wide variety of reasons, 
those reasons could be you know those reasons those reasons could be uh, lessons those reasons could be friendships those reasons could be accomplishing uh, any number of other goals or those or those reasons could just be uh, you like that person and you want them and you want them as their uh, as your friend that is the important thing to note is people are unique their experiences are unique in a tapestry those experiences weave makes them unique and yeah that was uh that was what i uh, that was what i had to say i hope you enjoyed it if you if you did then please uh leave a like and maybe even share this video wherever you think others will uh, uh will like it as well if you have anything you'd like to uh add to what it is i said the comment section awaits your input and if you want to see when my next video gets released well then uh please subscribe and ideally also ring the bell or do whatever else YouTube will ask of you in order to keep you notified. Until next time, I have been the One Take Man.